All right, well, so today we have a really interesting problem. This is a problem you might see on math Olympiads, and it's pretty interesting, okay? So we got AB equals 100, BC equals 200, CA equals 300. What is A plus B plus C? Pause the video and see if you can solve it on your own, and let's get to the solution. Okay, so first off is to recognize that there is a ratio between AB and BC, right? We know that if we put AB over BC, that's the same thing that's equivalent to 100 over 200. B over B is just 1, and so that just you know cancels out. So we can just say AC equals 100 over 200. 100 over 200 is just 0 0.5. And then multiply C on both sides to get A equals 0 0.5C. So now we can just do substitution. It's just like a system of equations. So you have CA equals 300, right? And so just plug in 0.5C for A. And then we get C times 0.5C equals 300. And so that is just 0.5C squared equals 300. Divide both sides by 0.5. We get 600 equals C squared. And then just take the square root of both sides. Square root of 600 simplifies to 10 times square root 6. Okay, so we have the value of C now. And since we know the value of A, we can find that using CA equals 300 if we have a numerical value for C. So if we have CA equals 300, we know the value of C, plug it in, 10 times square root 6 times A equals 300, divide both sides by 10, we get 30 equals square root 6 times A, and then just divide 30 by square root 6. So A equals 30 divided by square root 6. 30 divided by square root 6 simplifies if you multiply the numerator and denominator by square root 6. So you get 30 times square root 6 over Screw root 6 times square root 6, which is just 6. So you get 30 over 6, which is 5. So 5 times square root 6. So we know that for A, that is 5 times square root 6. Using our final given equation, which is BC equals 200. Okay, we know the value of C. And so now we just plug in the value of C in the equation. We get B times 10 times square root 6 equals 200. Divide both sides by 10. We get 20 equals square root 6 times B. Divide both sides by square root 6, you get 20 over square root 6. Multiply the numerator and denominator by square root 6, so then you get 20 times square root 6 over 6, which just simplifies to b equals 10 times square root 6 over 3. So now back to the problem, right? a plus b plus c. We know the value of a, we know the value of b, and we know the value of c as seen here. So now we just need to add all the values together. And just using some simple simplification here, we're just multiplying. 5 times square root of 6, uh, multiplying the 5 by 3 and dividing by 3, just so that everything is in order and in terms of square root of 6 divided by 3. Okay, so now we have all these values. If we just add the coefficients, so 15 plus 10 plus 30, then we get 55, right? So our final answer now will just be 55 times square root of 6 all over. Three. That does it for the video, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.